What's up everybody? This is Rob Shack. So today we're doing the next video in my Gran Turismo 4 walkthrough. I figure today we'll kind of go back and start doing some of these uh, driving missions again. It's been a while since we've done these. Uh, they're pretty fun. I'll do a few in a row until I unlock a new car. I think a new car comes if you beat maybe just these 10. So we'll do these and then we'll stop from there. So thank y'all for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment, and share. I'll talk about some things as we go through, kind of give some updates. Um, I was kind of running low on money and I haven't gotten to the level yet where I can do the little glitch to basically, not glitch, but basically just win a whole bunch of money from cars, uh, selling cars over and over again. So I'm like, I'll try to like actually play through the beginning of this game legit before I then uh, swap and do it a different way. You know what I'm saying? So we'll do a three lap battle here. This is the one with the TRD. 2000 GT, which is an iconic Toyota that's been in like every game since two, I think. Well, probably not in three because three didn't have a lot of cars, but um, we'll see how we can do on this because I'm not actually, I'm not sure how well to drive in this car, but we'll see. Um, yeah, so we'll, we'll kind of try to go through this game like legit, try to make money the right way before I just inevitably buy and sell the I or win the RSC a thousand times on that one special event race and then get a billion dollars that way because we'll start out actually showing people like that it is possible to beat this game legit you know what i'm saying so that's kind of the idea for now um in the meantime i'm just going to do a few of these little course things here because these are fun the three that battles are a little bit more uh not they're not harder i think the hardest version is the one lap battles if i had to make a suggestion those i think those are the hardest but that's obviously at the very end so we'll still win some car here. I can't remember what car we win for doing these, but um, yeah, the three lap battles are just obviously, as you said, as they are called, three lap battles, where just you're supposed to just slowly catch up to the cars. the The speed isn't nearly as crazy as the um, one lap magics, where the one lap magics you're like substantially faster than everybody else. I think the three lap battles are just a normal car, and you're just around the same speed as them. Although I am gaining sort of fast. I don't know how fast I need to do this. I can't remember. It's been a long time. So we'll kind of, sh I'll show all my takes of this, how I do it. Um, the Toyota 2000 GT seems to break very slowly and is very out of control, but we'll, we'll make it happen here. Um, it's not a bad car, obviously. It's a car from like the sixties. So like, what do you expect? It's gonna, it's gonna be a little bit slower, um, but it seems, it seems to be pretty fast. So. We're passing the first car now. This is the, who is that? Looks like maybe it's a Celica, but um, we'll try to pass him, do well here. We've gotten it done in 21 seconds. I don't know if that's good or not. We'll have to see. If it's not close, then I'll, when I restart it, I won't talk anymore because it's probably distracting me to be talking while I'm doing this. But um, yeah, uh, in the meantime, yeah, there is a, uh, get rich quick scheme in this game if you're if you're redoing this game recently um, just do the Capri I'll show the race eventually but there's a race that you can do it's like I think it's the easy one on Capri you win the Toyota RSC rally raid car it's worth like three hundred thousand dollars or credits and then you just keep redoing that race over and over and over again that's the best way to get enough money to buy all the rare black uh, Le Mans race cars that are in this game because there are a few of those uh, there's four to be exact um, and if you want to unlock all those, you might as well just have a million credits. I think you need like 8 million credits. So I'm just going to, that's what I'm going to do when it, when I get to that level, I'm just going to just, I won't show me doing that a million times, but I'll show once how to do it. And then just like, obviously I won't record all of that because it's boring and repetitive, but yeah, you can literally just win 300,000 credits for every race you do. And it's pretty funny. So here we are coming up on the skyline, making the pass here. Um, trying to keep our line as good as possible here because I passed him at a very inconvenient time, but we got him. So now we're fourth. We have one more lap. I think we're going to need to do this again because I'm only 16 seconds behind him. That's, I think that's good enough, but we'll see. We'll see. Um, I know that we are faster on straights, so the fact that we gained that much on the turns is probably a good thing, but I still think we have more time. We're going to have to do this again, but it's fine. Um, thank you all so much for watching. This uh, playthrough of this game has been a lot of fun to do. Um, 
Grand Turismo 4 is a lot more fun than I remember. I think it's just because I played through this game as a kid slash teenager. I think it just, it's a lot. There's a lot to do in a Grand Turismo 4. There's a lot of different races and different series and driving missions and special circuit things. You, there's a lot to do. So I think I just, as a kid, was like overwhelmed by this game. And now I'm like, oh yeah, this game is fantastic. It's It's fun to see the different ways to progress through this game and I think that's really cool so um yeah Toyota 2000 GT it's a good car um hopefully I win it at some point I think I do it's, if it, any car in this game is not for sale you will win it at some point you have to because that would be really that just would be torture if they like put this car not for sale somewhere and then you can't actually unlock it at all that would be so sad so I think that they actually planned that. They were like, okay, we're going to put all these like rare exotic cars in places where you notice it as the player. You're going to want to get it and we'll give it to you at some point because it's not for sale. So, um, yeah, eventually I will do the get rich quick scheme, but I'm just kind of showing that it's possible. Lots of different ways to do the starting thing. Like I'm, I'm making it a little bit harder for myself by using every car. So that's why I have less money in this game right now. But it is very doable, um, and it's very fun to use every car in the game that you win, even the really crappy ones, because NOS is a thing in this game, and it's really, really effective at helping you catch up to cars that are way faster than you, which is what I do. So, yeah, I don't think we're going to catch up to the 11S, 110S Mazda at this point. I think I'll have to restart it, but thank you all for watching. I will uh, won't commentate when I actually do it. Uh, right that I'll just show my process here so thank you all again and again for watching these are a lot of fun to do this game is amazing it's really a load of fun to beat this thing and we're gonna get through the whole thing go through it slow but thorough and have a good time so and eventually we'll be hitting all the crazy races which is why I have stuff separated into single races so looks like we did pretty good for our first try here um, yeah We'll restart it one more time, but thank y'all for watching. Uh, how many get to a thousand subs? I only have 7% of my viewers are subs, so let's try to get that higher. Um, thank y'all again for watching. Peace!